obviously we we ran into uh, a great team that played. I don't know if they could play much better. Uh, certainly, I don't think they could shoot much better than they did. And um, as I said yesterday after the game, I think Villanova's a team that can win a national championship. I think they have all the ingredients. And uh, if they play like they did uh, uh, tonight, I don't know how you beat them. Um, you know, I'm proud of my team. Uh, obviously, uh, we wish, you know, um, we had some more opportunities to celebrate during the year, but I thought my guys fought, um, you know, throughout adverse situations throughout the year. Um, and, th and a lot of that was a result of the senior leadership of Derek, Juan, and Matt. Those guys were great. And uh, as I told them in the locker room, I appreciate everything uh, they've done for our program in the past and, and then this past year. Questions, please? Right here in the middle. Coach, they, they had shot threes well the last two nights out of the season. Was there a calculated risk in make them beat you at the three, or did you feel like the defense wasn't getting there? Well, you know, we, uh, no, you know, we wanted to try to limit their threes. I mean, the first four threes they hit were well beyond the NBA line, and so um, you know, you take a little bit of a risk. We have we had about 14 hours preparation, and um, but they were great, and they shot it great. I mean, I have nothing but great things to say about them. I look right, right here. Coach, how did you feel about the defense today versus Seton Hall yesterday? It seemed like you guys were kind of playing both roles today. Well, you know, with all due respect to Seton Hall, Villanova's uh, a much different offensive team. I mean, you're talking about one of the, the most efficient offensive teams in the country. Um, you know, you bring a guy off the the bench who can hit seven, you know, seven out of ten from the floor, five out of seven from three. You know, they're they're they have, like I said, they don't have any holes in in, in their game, and uh, and they played a great game this afternoon, right here in the middle. Coach, uh, in year one, obviously the record wasn't what you wanted to be, but it seems you've established a culture here going forward. And can you talk about how you can blend that in with some of the talent that you have coming in next year? Well, you know, I, I thought our, our guys worked hard. I thought we we fought. I mean, we had a chance to win, you know, uh, a majority of the games that we were in. Obviously, the record wasn't like we wanted. Um, and, you know, I'm proud of a lot of things. We also have a lot of things we need to improve upon. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll get to work on that right away. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> go ahead. All right, go ahead, Matt. Uh, I enjoyed them um, each year. Uh, this past year was one of my favorites. Uh, I would say, you know, having Coach Rojo, uh, you know, it was a blessing in disguise. You know, and, you know, at the beginning, none of us knew, you know, exactly what we were getting, but it was one of the best things that happened to me in my career as far as basketball in general. I learned so much and um, from him and the rest of our coaching staff, and it was it was fun. I mean, we didn't get the results that we always wanted, but – I really enjoyed myself this year and being around our new coaching staff and the players we had this year. So, right here in front. Rich, you, had, you had one of the more memorable embraces with Coach K at the end of your career. Take us through that moment with Juan and being on the opposite end of that. Uh, you know, uh, you know, really with all three of the seniors, um, I wanted all of them to be recognized by uh, Marquette fans because they've contributed a lot. Obviously, Juan and Derek for four years. And then Matt for this past year, um, you know, 12 months ago, their life, less than 12 months ago, you know, their life changed a lot, you know, they, and, you know, there's, you know, when life throws different curveballs at you, you have a choice on how to handle it. And I, I thought our seniors um, handle it as well as you possibly can. And I hope I always have a senior class like this. And um, even though we didn't get as many wins as we would like this year. Um, the wins we do get in the future will be a result of the foundation that they laid. Over here on the left, John. Coach, first year guy in a league like this one, what was it like going through the grind? You know, I mean, it's an unforgiving league. It's an older league. Um, it's a league that uh, um, obviously there's excellent coaches, uh, tremendous basketball traditions in home courts. And, and uh, you know, it never stops. You know, the waves keep coming. 
and uh, there's not a bad team in our league. You know, there's no gimmies. And um, so it, it's, a, it's a tough league. It's a great league to be a part of. Uh, we have a lot of work to do to get where we want to go. Uh, but obviously our program's honored to be a part of the Big East. In the middle. Derek, uh, by my count, you have 23 assists in 19 hours between the episodes. <laughs> Uh, could you repeat that? Just all these assists. I mean, your assist numbers are great all year. But yeah. 23 between last night and today, um, as far as just helping the younger kids along who are coming back and carrying on tradition, you know, do you feel like that helps them, you getting them all involved? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's they're, – they're, I mean, they already have the talent. So just getting them the ball and, you know, boosting their confidence. And this is, you know, what they've done this year. We're only prepare them better for next year. So getting them the ball and uh, – you know, again, putting them in the right positions to score. They see that, they learn. We all learn from it. And uh, they'll do the same for the next guys coming up. And they'll, you know, keep on doing what they, they've they been doing is scoring the ball and playing great. So. On the right. Coach, you mentioned the challenges you faced this year in the first year of coaching. How did you personally handle them? Uh, I mean, it's in the nicest way. I mean, when's the last time you've been part of a team uh, with a losing record? I mean, yeah, but my freshman year, my first year in college basketball. And, uh, and in hindsight, it was the best thing that ever happened to me as a player. And so, um, you know, we have, uh, we have we have a lot of work to do, uh, but we'll we'll get it done. You know, and I don't think it's appropriate initially to talk about the future because, you know, I think the seniors um, are the guys that I want to. Uh, I'm mostly focused on right now. And I appreciate everything they've done. Derek, uh, Juan, and Matt have been terrific. We'll do two more, please. Juan. Yeah, we knew we, we obviously our, our plan was to start. To, we wanted to get off to a great start. And we, we anticipated them trying to take Matt out of the game. I mean, obviously, Coach Wright's a great coach. so. You know, a guy who hits eight threes, they're going to try to shut him off. Um, I thought they knocked us back with their offense more so than their defense. Um, you know, they they came out and um, you know was shot that shot lights out, and I thought that actually knocked it. their defense was really good, uh, but I thought their offense really knocked us back. Final question. You know, you know, we'll we'll look at everything. I mean, um, there's obviously things that are in our control that we can do better, and we'll work like crazy to improve on those things. And and we we also had, you know, we had some injuries, things that were out of our control, um, that we hopefully won't have to to deal with, you know, in the future. Um, so, um, you know, we're always working to get better, and uh, you know, and we will, and we will. Marquette, thank you.